Well, everyone, Ryan here. So I was checking my Twitter feed earlier today, and I came across this interesting story. Uh, apparently, an entire school district in the state of Mississippi has decided to pull To Kill a Mockingbird from its curriculum. And... Of course, To Kill a Mockingbird is a well-known novel by Harper Lee. And <clears throat> I got to say, this irritates me. Uh, I didn't think it would irritate me that much. Uh, but I read several articles about this. And really, to me, it seems like there's no they have no real solid reason for pulling To Kill a Mockingbird from their curriculum. Other than the, the only reason they gave was that it made some people feel uncomfortable. <laughs> because, you know, there's there's the use of the N-word in it, and then it also, uh, you know, it, it accurately depicts a topic of things like racism, prejudice, and... That's the only reason they gave. <laughs> so, so to me, this seems like uh, doesn't seem like a really good reason. Uh, although for me, you know, of course, being <clears throat> a bookworm, a book lover, I've never really felt that books. I mean, even the worst books that I've come across, uh, you know. I mean, and I'm just going to give examples here. I'm, I'm not putting them down necessarily. I'm just saying they're not for me. They're not my cup of tea. Books like the Twilight series, Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, I don't know what else. <clears throat> Others like it. I don't like those books. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't feel like those should be banned at all because I do believe... First of all, I do believe in, in the freedom of speech. And aside from that, even if we didn't have that, I would still believe in the freedom of self-expression, the freedom of, you know, each individual having the right to express themselves through art, literature, music, however they see fit. You know, as long as they're not, you know, physically harming other people then, you know, I'm all for it, and, yeah, uh, to me, this is just, it doesn't make sense. I mean, too, if we were to, to ban or, you know, or, or pull or even just limit access to a certain book, limit people's access to certain books or movies or, you know, music, simply because it makes people uncomfortable, doesn't matter, you know, how many people it makes feel uncomfortable. Or, but if we were to do that, can you imagine how freaking boring life would be? <laughs> I mean, can you? I, I'm, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, we all know how boring life would be if none of us had the freedom to read what we want, watch what we want, to listen to what we want. That would be boring. <laughs> and not only that, but we would be missing out on expanding our minds, expanding our horizons, expanding our perspectives on the many different aspects of life and existence and, you know, ultimately our, our place in this reality, within this universe. And... I don't know, just for me, I feel like this is a very bad move. Uh, of course, they don't name the schools uh, that, you know, so that are being, are going to be affected by this. I mean, all the articles I read, I mean, I just, I read like three, four articles on this. Uh, they just mentioned that, uh, that it's just one school district in Mississippi. But still, for me, see, I see, like, even if it's just one school district, you know, 
if they're going to be allowed to do this, how long before another school district does it? And then another one, and then another one. And then how long, you know, before school districts in other states begin following in the same vein? So, uh, I mean, you know, it's... To me, it sucks. It's... It's, it's you know... It's complete bullshit. It is. It's bullshit. Uh, part of my French or whatever, but honestly, I, it's bullshit. It is. <laughs> you know, it doesn't, you know, it's... I do hope that this doesn't... I hope that this isn't like the beginnings of another new book banning craze or, you know... I do hope so. Uh, I mean, I don't want to worry about it too much, but at the same time, I do feel like should still be concerned about it, at least a little bit. So, yeah, I don't know. let me know what you think, please. I know a lot of other fellow booktubers would agree with me. You know, I mean, if you disagree with me. Let me know why you disagree with me. Uh, you know, I'm open to listening to other people's perspectives. I'm not close, close-minded. I've never considered myself to be a close-minded person. I'm always open to, uh, you know, healthy debate, discussion. So, yeah, let me know what you think about this whole thing about To Kill a Mockingbird being pulled from the curriculum in this Mississippi school district. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this. Uh, after I edit and upload this, I'm going to go and reread To Kill a Mockingbird and, as well as some others that are similar. Uh, yeah. We got to appreciate books more in, the, in this country, in the U.S., Really worldwide, but especially here in the U.S., the United States of America, we gotta appreciate books more. It's it sucks that we don't. It sucks that not enough people do. But that's a, a topic for another another uh, video, perhaps. So, yeah, thanks for watching this again. Let me know what you think or don't think. Uh, <laughs> yeah. As always, the next time, keep it real. Keep on rocking and peace.